My name is Jenny Robson, I'm the founder of Roots and Branches Limited. In this short video, I'm going to talk to you about how to build your overseas business when you're not really sure where to start. So what are the ABCs of starting abroad? You might envision a secondary location or a brand new startup. Who's there with you? Are you in a warm climate, at a high elevation? The first step is to pick a destination that you are going to love. Which countries fit your description? Establishing an overseas business doesn't make sense for all businesses. So are you really ready? This is the big question you have to ask yourself. You'd be surprised at the number of entrepreneurs who decide on a whim that it's time to start selling overseas. As an entrepreneur, this has to be a calculated decision. There may not be a market for what you are selling. Overhead may be too high, infrastructure may be too unstable, and working capital be, may be unattainable. Tax, intellectual property, and other corporate laws may not work in your favour. So before you start, you need to conduct thorough market research. For the sake of argument, let's assume that you've confirmed the viability of launching your product or service in the for foreign market. Now the real work starts. No matter what your reason for relocating, be it screaming market opportunity, attractive cost of living, or a voracious wonderlust, there are a number of steps you can take to get your company starting on the right foot. So here are my top six tips to get you started. The first one is conduct thorough market research. Roots and Branches specializes in helping your business to expand overseas through our Root and Branches packages. Roots is designed for exporters and helps you get started either independently or in our accelerator course with one-to-one -one support or Roots Consultancy Service. Branch is about establishing an overseas presence. Either way before you get started, you need to establish a thorough understanding of the markets which you intend to do business in. We can help you to conduct thorough market research. If you choose to do it yourself, here are some of the key areas that you should be looking at. Research the business practices. Research the competition. Study the cultural differences. Study the five companies that tried to enter the market and failed. Look at transportation, utilities, internet speed, the political and economic stab stability of the country, and also its weather patterns. Consider taking a few short trips abroad to get your bearings and start to interact with the local community. Now it's time to test the viability of the market. Once you have decided that you're going to expand internationally, you need to start thinking about how you're going to test the viability of the market. A limitless test is where you will provide a small portion of your company's resources and create what is essentially a micro operation. This tiny operation will conduct customer research, adapt your products and services and execute the product in the new market. The goal of the pilot program is to start generating limited sales. You are essentially running a small business linked to your main operations. It will be responsible for everything, including processing orders, dealing with clients and fulfilling orders. You have to set a timeline to make sure that you have a firm end point for where you can consider the experiment to be a success or a failure. The next step is to integrate with the locals. Ensure that your staff in remote offices can communicate well in several languages. Don't assume that all of your international clients can speak or write in English. Learning a language can feel almost as challenging as starting a business, but even poor language skills are better than none. You can learn a new language through various applications or meet up with someone that speaks the language fluently and work with them to hone your skills. Be genuinely interested in the country and its culture. Get out and meet your customer and participate in cultural experiences every day. The market, customer base, customer preferences and behaviour aren't native to you, so it's important to take in as much as possible. You also need to embrace the business culture. Honouring local business custom customs can make the difference between winning and losing customers. Find a local mentor or investor who can help guide you through and understand the culture and local consumer. Roots and Branches can help you to identify networks in your chosen market and connect you with relevant people to facilitate doing business. You can also look at joining meetup groups, reaching out to local business networks or researching online for websites that specialise in expats living in the country. 
Next, it's important to seek global tax and legal counsel. It can cost you dearly to assume that the tax and legal protections you enjoy in the UK apply worldwide. Roots and Branches can provide you with reliable referral to internationally savvy lawyers and accountants. During your market research, check the operations that meet your needs. Will you want to franchise or license in your destination? If so, the parent company will need an important resource when it comes to setting up in overseas. Is foreign direct investment your goal? Offshoring, foreign subsidiaries? Or are you interested in becoming a multinational corporation? Determining the way you'll operate will impact on how you conduct business. The ground is an important part of doing business overseas. Find a trustworthy business partner who is native to the region or intimately familiar with the local business climate. Your biggest challenge is starting the business overseas will be dealing with people. It will not be easy for you to find to understand the culture and the business tactics in an overseas location. So you should have somebody local who you can trust to start to manage the location and have that person deal with the local legality and processes and then report into you. High performing global businesses have an ecosystem of channel relationships, resellers and partners to help them to expand internationally. Carefully choosing international partners is important at the onset of entering new markets and especially when you're trying to push out competitors and become the market leader. Roots and Branches can help you to find local appropriate partners. Even if you're excited about moving abroad and getting your business started, remember that all good things take time. Don't rush this process. Give yourself time to research, seek trusted counsel and never get the ins and outs of moving abroad. So, would you like to find out if you're export ready? You can download my export readiness checklist on my website and you'll be able to get started on your export journey. I look forward to working with you. Goodbye.